All right, so today I want to show you the results of the survey. How many snakes do you own? I actually did a video on it about a week and a half ago, and I was looking back at the video. It looks like there's about 2,400 people that viewed the video and about 400 people that actually took the survey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I want to show you the results of the survey. And not only that, I want to dig in a little bit deeper in my YouTube analytics, and I can actually show you some more information about the viewers. I can actually tell if if they're male or female and exactly where in the world you're viewing it from so for example I know if you're in the United States or if you're in another country around the world it's kind of interesting some of the data I can pull out of my YouTube analytics so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to the internet and I want to kind of pull up my YouTube dashboard and show you the results of the survey all right, so I'm gonna jump over here on YouTube and start on my channel page. If you're wondering how to get to this video where you can actually add your vote, and it, essentially this is just gonna keep going and it'll keep adding up the vote numbers as we go forward. It's, it's kind of interesting when you first put a video out, you get a lot of views and a lot of attention and then it kind of dies down up until pretty much a certain point and then it decides if YouTube likes it or not and decides to actually promote that video and it, and it really kind of takes off. So it's kind of interesting at this point, it it really peaked when I first put it out and then it kind of leveled off and we're kind of at almost like a flat leveling as far as views but if you want to go over to the video and kind of you know check it out and maybe add your vote to the list how many snakes do you have you can actually go here so this is my home page here and essentially I have like the brand new videos that I put out on the very top so you can see kind of the latest stuff coming out and then I have different playlists like ball python morphs the most viewed rats and mice and if you actually come up to the the top and click on videos you come over to this page and you can actually see a whole list of all my videos that I put out I put out a video every single day this is quite a lot of videos As a matter of fact I'm almost up to 700 videos it's, a, it's pretty incredible how many videos I have I put out a video every single day I've been doing this for almost two years so actually so we're actually right here on if you're, if you're looking for the video that's coming out tonight well actually actually it'll, this will probably come out tomorrow after the ghost so this one's actually uploaded and ready to go and scheduled this is the one that no one has seen yet which is kind of interesting one view that was me just kind of adding in the end screen elements and over here from 10 videos ago it is how many snakes do you have and if you actually click on that up in the top right corner has a little eye on the video and you can actually go over click the eye and then vote you can cast your vote so here are the results of of the survey how many snakes do you have watching this video you as the viewer how many snakes do you have and it's, it's kind of interesting the number one 42 percent 171 people actually have between one and five snakes which is quite a few people and it's kind of interesting if you actually look at the very bottom there's actually 22 people with more than 50 snakes that really surprised me how many people have that many snakes and then the kind of the second Second one here, the runner up is 47 have no snakes at all. So a lot of people are actually watching my videos, don't have any snakes yet, which I thought was kind of interesting. So actually 99 people have between 11 and 50 snakes. That number kind of surprised me too. I thought most of the people would be, you know, one to five or maybe none. I thought maybe most of the people would actually have none or one to five. It kind of surprised me how it was kind of stretched out over these and between six and 10 snakes, there's actually 61 people with between six and 10 snakes. And you can see down here, the total responses was exactly 400. That was a lot of people actually voting on this. It was pretty amazing. So I kind of want to jump over here and show you some more kind of the inside details of this particular video. I actually had 2,404 views in the last 10 days. And you can kind of see the views kind of peaked right here. And then it came down and it kind of levels out here. I was kind of waiting for it to level out before I actually showed you the results because if you kind of jump into it too early, you don't really get all the results from the, the peak when the video comes out. So actually you can see down here, I have 1,849 from the United States, 88 from Canada. I was kind of surprised Canada was number two, 68 from the United Kingdom and 23 from Germany. And I also thought it was kind of interesting that all 
all the other countries, like the 200 countries all around the world, it seems like they're not even listed here. I'm not sure if they're kind of lagging in data. Usually I have some from random countries around the world in a smaller percentage. And I think maybe it's just not really updated. And sometimes it takes a while for the data to update in the analytics here. Here's another one I thought this was kind of interesting. So this is the age group that actually watched this particular video. So between 18 and 24 years old, it's 12.5%. And between 25 and 34 years old, 39%. That's like my biggest view age range. Uh, watching this video was kind of interesting, almost 40%. 35 to 44 years, 33.9%, and 45 to 54, just 14%. And here's something that's kind of interesting. You can actually scroll down here to um, average view duration. If you look at the view duration, almost everybody in all the gr in age groups pretty much looked, watched my videos for almost the longest. It seemed like maybe the 18 to 24 was a little bit lower and then this was five minutes, almost six minutes, and almost six minutes here. And it's kind of interesting if you actually scroll down to the bottom here and we go back to, to kind of the, the raw data, you can actually see 13 to 17 years I had zero views, which is kind of interesting. Interesting. And then for the really older group from 55 to 64 or 65 plus, I had zero, which is kind of unusual. Here's another one that's kind of interesting. I actually had 86.4% male and only 13.6% female, which is kind of interesting. Almost the same view duration for male and female. So here's another one, the subscribe versus non-subscribe. So if you're watching this video, I can tell if you're subscribed or not, but I can't tell individually. So that what, essentially what it does is it collects your data, but it groups it all together with everyone else's data. So if you're watching this, I can't tell who you are. I don't know your username or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I can actually kind of figure out if you're subscribed, if I go over into my subscribers and search for your name. But I'd say that's kind of hard with all the subscribers I have. I have to like search through almost 25,000 subscribers. It'd be almost impossible. So, but you know, kind of grouped together, you can see that 1,750 people were subscribed and not subscribed about 654, which is kind of interesting because if I put out like a really personal video that, that really is not attractive to the general public, that is only attractive to my viewers that kind of follow me on a daily basis, uh, Usually, you know, if, if I have like a really bad video that doesn't really grab the attention of anyone else, I pretty much get 1,700 views across the board, no matter what kind of a video I put out. So that's kind of like the baseline. If I can get more than 1,700, I knew no, I pretty much know that I'm doing good and I'm attracting the attention of people that are not necessarily my subscribers. And in this case, it was pretty low, 654 not subscribed, which wasn't too bad. But I'd say it's, I'd say it's less than average. Usually I have something that draws in a lot more people than just this. So this is kind of interesting. This is actually where uh, the, the video views were directed from. So for example, this is, uh, it's, it's like the video source of the, it's, it's kind of like where you saw my thumbnail. So for example, the browse feature, if you, if you go to YouTube and you type in something like, uh, like the best snake in the world, you just do a random search. Essentially what you do is every time you do a search, it has all these little thumbnails for all the videos. And those those are actually impressions. So when you're seeing all those little thumbnails, that's counted as an impression. You can actually look over here in the browse features. I actually had 17,900 impressions. And out of those, I actually had 1,500 people actually click on the, on the link, which is actually, uh, uh, it's a click rate of 5.7%. I'd say on a really good video, I usually have about a 10%. You know, one out of 10 people will see my thumbnail and actually 
actually click on it doing a general search. That's kind of where the numbers are coming from. So this is actually, you know, the browse is number one. Notifications is number two. So when you, if you actually click the bell on my channel and, and you sign up for notifications, 342 people actually clicked on the notification and was directed over to this video, which is kind of interesting. Suggested videos, that's kind of interesting too because uh, say for example, if you're watching a particular video, the next one that is suggested over on the right, those are actually suggested videos. It's a little bit different than when you're just browsing and looking through a bunch of videos. It's actually, if you're watching something, it's suggested. That is the number third one, 165. This one kind of surprised me. Actually, on the channel pages, 160 people clicked for my channel page. I usually, I'd say, uh, I'd say most of the time, if you actually go to my channel, you are in the minority. I didn't realize so many people were actually looking at the videos on my channel and actually clicking on the videos that that kind of surprised me so the rest of them is kind of you know other YouTube features YouTube search end screens I had 15 clicks from the end screen so if you wait to the very end of my video and you kind of see you know the the next videos that I put up there my little subscribe button if you click on one of those that is the end screen and it directs you to another video I only had 15 from from end screens and external external is I've actually seen it's kind of interesting I actually had some videos that took off and got a whole bunch of views and it was mostly from external and I found out that external is actually on Google sometimes Google will recommend it as a matter of fact if I pick up my cell phone and I go to the Google homepage sometimes I'll actually see my videos listed on the Google homepage and I think that is external and kind of the interesting thing Thing is about that is, is sometimes it's, it's kind of deceiving because some of my videos some of my recent videos you'll actually see where I have like 50,000 views on some of my videos and it's it's like totally I say it's totally wrong it's kind of a glitch in YouTube so essentially what happens is it puts it over on Google and when you're scrolling through the, the Google kind of the home page and you stop you kind of see a preview for a few seconds there's no sound and it, it just kind of shows you the preview of what the video is about and that actually counts as a view over here on YouTube but there's no ads so you don't get any money and people aren't clicking on it so you don't get any subscribers so sometimes you can get like tens of thousands of views and you don't get any extra money you don't get any extra subscribers and it's kind of because almost like this glitch over on Google that kind of glitches out your videos and people are like man this video is really popular it's like no people are just kind of scrolling past it and and they're just seeing the preview and it's kind of artificially inflating the numbers which is kind of interesting so I'm going to come over here to, uh, this is kind of interesting too, this actually shows you the operating system that you're using when you're watching this video. So this is actually mostly from Android, which I thought was interesting too. I actually have a Galaxy Note 9, which has the Android operating system, and most of the people are actually watching videos on an Android system, which is kind of weird. And this is iOS, Windows, Smart TV, <laughs> it's, it's interesting, 77 people are actually actually watching it on a smart TV, 43 on a Macintosh, 41 on a PlayStation, that's kind of surprising, 41 on an Xbox, that is, I don't even know you could watch videos on those, which is pretty awesome, and then Apple TV, Linux, Linux is like five from Linux, Linux is like a free operating system, it's an open source operating system, Windows Mobile, Nintendo Switch, one from Nintendo, which I thought was kind of interesting. Here's another one. This one kind of surprised me too. So most people, they actually when I first started, I never put subtitles in. Then I started adding subtitles in English on all my videos. As a matter of fact, I actually had 136 people put subtitles on the bottom in this video. And a lot of people say if you actually put subtitles on your videos, a lot more people can watch, especially the hearing impaired. A lot of people have trouble hearing, or if they're, for example, if they're watching like in a library or somewhere where that's you know somewhere that they can't actually play the volume they could turn on the subtitles I was kind of surprised 136 people are using subtitles here's another one this is really interesting too so 
This is actually the suggested video. So for example, if you're watching a video, it comes up as a suggested video, but this one actually looks at the video that it originates from. And it's kind of interesting. You can actually look at some of these. So for example, if you go over here to snake myths, so snake myths, if you're watching that video, it's one of my videos, and it's actually a suggested video that shows up and you actually click on it, the survey for how many snakes do you have, you actually it was directed from this video. It's kind of interesting if you go through these, The Biggest Losers, A Day in the Life of the Snake Breeder, these are actually all my videos until you get all the way down here, which is this one, which I thought was interesting, uh, Being Different. This is actually from Olympus Reptiles. So, so it's, you know, it's almost, you know, some people say that other reptile channels are competing against you, and it's actually just the opposite. Other reptiles actually actually help promote my videos in a lot of cases. So for example, if you look at this one from Olympus Reptiles, actually this was 35 impressions. So I actually showed up as the suggested video on 35 of them. And actually I got six views from people actually either letting a play through or actually clicking on the suggested video. So <laughs> thanks Matt, you're actually driving some traffic to my channel. And you know, that is how reptile channels kind of work together. The more other people, you know, make reptile ch videos, the more they actually drive traffic back and forth between these channels. It's definitely a win-win situation. So I thought I'd add this in. This is kind of how my channel is doing at the moment. This is kind of a global overall view at every single video on my channel. This kind of gets away from just that one video. And it's kind of interesting, in the last 48 hours, I've actually had 22,532 views on my channel. It is pretty amazing. And just in the last 60 minutes, I've had 488 views. It's pretty amazing. And if you actually, you can actually look at these so I've had as little as three views or two views all the way to 14. Actually, this one right here is the most 15 views in one minute, which is pretty amazing. That is like, that is, uh, that is more than one view every 10 seconds. That is pretty amazing. And you can actually go down here and see kind of the most popular stuff. And usually if you scroll down and look at the most popular videos, usually the, the most popular at the current point on my channel are the ones that I just put out. Usually when you first put out a video, you get the most views out of any video on your channel. And that's another reason you you should constantly put out daily videos because every single video you put out you get the most views on that video on that particular day versus all your other older videos and it almost gets to the point where you have to put out the daily videos because every time you put one out if you actually scroll up and look at this here you see these peaks like this peak over here and then this peak right here this right here is where I released a brand new video and as a matter of fact if I don't keep putting out videos you don't get those peaks and you get like a gradual depression, even over like four or five days, all your views across your whole channel kind of gets depressed and it almost forces you to keep putting out the daily videos, which is pretty, I'd say it's, just, it's there's kind of a lot of pressure to put out the daily videos because you see an instant change in your statistics if you don't actually keep putting them out. And the, the, the kind of the funny thing is, is I actually had some videos, you know, my number two video, how to make 2000 a month with 25 ducks. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I actually put this video out a long time, almost two years ago, and it's still usually my number one or number two video. It's just trending really crazy. And it, it took me forever to actually get some ball python videos up here in the trending spot where you actually have, you know, this is the 6A Xanthic, which is my number one spot. And it's kind of misleading because, you know, this particular video, I actually have 4,265 video uh, views views in a, it's like two days so it's pretty crazy and you can see this this spike right here is when it first came out and this one is like the next one that I put out seven ball pythons for sale you can definitely see the really big spikes when you first put out a video but what you're really shooting for on YouTube is these trending videos like how to make 2,000 a month with 25 ducks look at number four this is kind of a really unique anomaly how to unlock a lock truck in less than 30 seconds it is now my number four video and I kind of want to show you some statistics on that one take a look at this so this is actually that video right here 
I actually put it out a long time ago. Actually, right here, I put it out in 2018 in July. I got, when I first put it out, I get a little spike, 44 views, and then it went down to zero. And one view, zero views, and you look, this is actually uh, uh, August, this is September, this is October, November, and December, this is months and months, I'm still getting zero views, two views, and then for whatever reason, I started up here in March, like almost, it's a really long time later, it just starts slowly trending, and YouTube decides, for whatever reason, it decides, it just really likes this video, and now you come up to here, and look at how many views I'm getting in a day, it's like, you know, 490, like 553 views, it is just crazy, and that's kind of how it is on YouTube, sometimes you just get really frustrated because you put out a video and you get like 40 views and then it goes to zero and it sits there at zero for months and months sometimes for years and years and then for whatever reason YouTube decides that it likes that video and it's gonna start promoting it and then the more positive feedback it seems like it starts promoting it more and more and I say this is kind of generally the case for all videos where I as well I'd say maybe <laughs> not really all videos I'd say in some cases you actually get this trending some cases I actually have some videos that still have like a hundred views from the very beginning some are not that popular and for whatever reason you know it just picks like a random video and it's just it just kind of triggers the algorithm and it decides that this video is trending it's really interesting how YouTube actually works all right, so there you have it. Those are the results from the survey, kind of interesting, and some of the statistics behind my channel. And it's, I'd say a lot of times I usually don't even go in and look at my stats. There's a lot of interesting ways you can actually look at the data, but I find I'm really focused mainly on figuring out what I'm gonna do for the next video for the day versus kind of looking backwards into my statistics. As a matter of fact, I cut out all the stuff that concerns money. I think YouTube has a policy where you're not really supposed to tell people how much money you're making on your YouTube channel, so I kind of cut out all that stuff. That's kind of interesting too, and I'd say even that, I usually don't look at. I'm usually looking forward. What is, you know, kind of a new, fresh topic that I can bring to my viewers that is new and interesting. I usually don't look backwards, and I usually don't dig into the statistics. So that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.